Hi. I don't normally record this early in the morning, so please excuse my voice. Yesterday, Asobo released update number 5 for the SIM to bring its version number up to 1.10.7.0. Before I get into changes and reactions to the patch, I wanted to advise any folks that are having issues to ensure your community folder is empty and to delete your cache files, then retest the SIM to see if that helps with any issues you might be having. Among the changes in this update are improved sensitivity and twitchiness of control surfaces. This was applied to the Dyer TBM 930, the Cessna 152, the 152 Aerobat, 172 Classic, and G1000 versions. I looked at these and to be honest, I didn't really detect any difference. If you noticed an improvement, please let us know and what type of HOTAS you're using. They said they improved stability for the autopilot in the Grand Caravan, the Citation, the 747-8, and the TBM 930 with regards to pitch and altitude. I tested the Cessna aircraft and indeed there appears to be an improvement for these aircraft. They fixed a number of bugs that I was not having an issue with that were mostly cosmetic save for the avionics screens going black. I never experienced that issue so I can't speak to it. They finally addressed the number one community request and removed the press any key interstitial screen, so that's nice. You can now switch between metric and US measurement units finally. Supposedly, the marketplace and aircraft selection menus have had performance improvements, but I didn't notice any difference. You can turn track IR on and off in the camera panel during a flight, which is a great change. They added a toggle to turn the in-cockpit tooltips on and off, which is really nice. Those tooltips can get in the way and block your view of a given control setting. So the ability to turn it off is a nice addition. I had the usual horrible experience and had to do a complete reinstall of the SIM. A new issue that cropped up was an error that occurred with the digital ownership certificate not installing and preventing the SIM from patching. After hours of researching and running different fix utilities, I was finally able to get it to install, but it wasn't pretty. The community is commenting that the night lighting updates are okay, but still need a lot of work. Some users reporting that the night lighting in the cities is worse than before the patch, but I didn't see that to be true. A lot of folks are having issues with the new sensitivity updates for the HOTAS setups. Others are reporting an improvement. I'd be really interested to hear from you folks who are seeing either condition as well after the patch in the comments. There was an issue with Metar data refresh that was fixed, but I hadn't seen this issue, so I can't speak to that. A few folks are reporting crash to desktop issues. My sim install is running smoothly after the patch, install issues aside. Did the patch go well for you? Are you seeing any issues? Let us know in the comments what your experience was with this patch. Hopefully we as a community can assist any folks that experienced issues. The patch notes are linked in the description for your reference. And that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video and until then, take care.